Van D, a dynamic leader with decades of experience building companies and crushing sales. He's been there and done that. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Van D. Inspiring audiences across the country to do it too. Here's Van. Welcome to my podcast. My name is Van Deeb. I'm so glad you're here. We talk about things that are so valuable in your life and will make a huge difference in your career. And today, one of my favorite topics, it's about respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That's what it means to me. I, I probably didn't say that right, but I, I didn't do Aretha Franklin any good by, by saying it like that. But respect me and you win me over. I want to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of showing respect. So you have to ask yourself, are you showing your clients that you respect them? And you're saying to yourself, man, I've had my clients forever. I don't need to do anything different. They always buy from me. I don't need to change my game. Okay. But my question to you is, are you showing your clients that you respect them and your future prospects? Maybe you haven't asked yourself this question lately, but I doubt that you would give your business to someone who didn't show respect to you. I know I wouldn't. If someone wants to do business with me, they can win me over by making me feel appreciated and showing that they respect me. I also want to show that I respect and appreciate them. So they will look forward to doing business with me. I just can't expect them to show me a ton of respect and me not return it. I want them to want to do business with me. Don't you think people are going to give you a much better deal if they look forward to doing business with you instead of being hard to do business with? We have just as much right ask people to respect us as they have the right to ask us to respect them back. So ask yourself, how do you treat other people? Because how you treat other people will determine your success in any relationship, mostly, including your relationships with clients. So how people treat others is a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. So here's what I know. I know that when people see, I've got a reputation for treating people like they matter. I started that years and years and years ago because I looked at that as a fundamental of being in business, a fundamental of being in sales. Treat people like they matter. And Mary Kay Ash with Mary Kay Cosmetics said it better than anybody. Pretend everybody you meet has a sign around their neck that says, make me feel important. Seriously, that stuck with me. Do I have the ability to make everybody I meet feel like they matter? Of course I do. If you want to be more effective in showing respect to your clients, I have an exercise for you. And you guys know me. I'm real big on saying get a pen, a pen and a piece of paper because this is how we remember things. I don't know about you, but I remember things better if I write it down. So write these down or I'll play this back several times. So at the top of this paper that you're going to get, write things I can do to show my customers that I respect them. This may sound way beneath you and way too fundamental. Well, believe it or not, the most successful people on the planet do this. After you write at the top things I can do to show my customers that I respect them, then start writing down ways you can show your customers how grateful you are that you are doing business with them and they are doing business with you. When you consistently show your customers that you appreciate them, they will be much more likely to stay loyal to you. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the key. Getting your clients to stay loyal to you because they are being called on by other people in your industry. They're being wooed, wined, and dined. Don't, don't give them a reason not to leave you. And I want to tell you something. When you use the same person over and over, the common comments that you get is, well, they don't 
give me the best service like they used to when they first got my business. Don't be that person. So put on, put on this sheet that you're grabbing if you want to, some of the ways to respect everyone you come in t- contact with. I'm just going to give you six ways to show respect, okay? You come up with whatever works for you. And not just for your customers. This goes for everybody. You know, your girlfriend, your spouse, your, your, your wife. What's it take to open her car door, push in her chair? That's a form of respect. So remember, practice makes perfect. The more you practice respecting people, you'll become great at. When you implement these following suggestions, make make them a discipline. Make them a discipline. Then one day, this discipline will become a habit, and eventually it'll become natural to you. So number one of the six I want to briefly go through with you. Respond to emails, texts, and phone calls at your earliest convenience, regardless of how busy you are. If you don't do this, people will feel like they don't matter to you. This is not good to get back with people. As busy as I am and have been in my wonderful career, I will still return somebody's call, text, or email, but it might say, I'm buried today, I'm with clients today, where can I call you back tonight at 8 o'clock? Majority of the time, people just want to be recognized. They won't expect you to call them back at 8 o'clock tonight, but the fact that you acknowledged that they contacted you means a ton. Number two, be a better listener. This may sound easy, but showing respect is be a better listener. But truly listen to the person you are talking with. It, It really is a hard skill to master, but it's one of the most important especially in our age today where we're distracted by everything. When you are listening to someone, maintain constant eye contact with them. This is basically showing them that what they have to say is important to you. You can also be a good listener without expressing your own viewpoint. Actually, I want to tell you something. 37 years of being a businessman, um, I'm a I'm going to brag about myself, a very good businessman. I'm still working on this. I'm still working today on being a better listener and not try to come up with something every time they make a comment. I don't have to respond back. I can just be a good listener. Number three, encourage and be helpful. You want to show respect? If you notice that a person you're talking with is not having a good day, then offer words of encouragement. Do what you can do to make their day better. You don't realize this, or you may realize this, but you were actually born with this God-given talent. Did you know that? You were born with this God-given talent to make people feel better and make their day and to be a bright spot. So use it. What are you waiting for? You've got these talents. Use it. Another thing I believe in, don't waste words on people who deserve your silence. Seriously, there's no sense in it. Instead, use your words on those who need your encouragement. Be helpful. Number four, recognize and congratulate. If you know someone who has accomplished something really cool that they are proud of, be sure to show them that you are just as proud. Brag about their accomplishments to other people. When you recognize someone for doing great things, it will empower and inspire them to do even greater things. I can't tell you how many times somebody told me, good job, and it made me work harder. It made me do better because somebody recognized that I did good. Always encourage people. When you see them that they've won an award, top sales, sold something, Whatever, always congratulate and recognize them. Number five, a number, another simple characteristic and fundamental of being respectful. Be grateful. Nothing's better than being grateful. Be grateful and say thank you. How will people know how much we appreciate them if we don't thank them or show our gratitude? We don't do this enough. 
We don't do it enough in the workplace or in our daily lives. Saying thank you is so simple that there is absolutely no reason for us not to make it a habit. Show your gratitude. Be grateful and say thank you. People don't have to do things for you. And the more you show your gratitude and say thank you, the more people want to do for you. And the last one, I mean, I seriously have to say this. Be kind. If you would like me to do business with with you, you got to show me your kindness, not just how great your product or service is. And keep the conversation positive. If you are in the habit of making unkind remarks, chances are you should stop talking. Be kind. I can't tell you how many times that I haven't done business with somebody because they just weren't kind. I remember sitting in front of somebody and I was about to make a big purchase and he needed something from one of his employees and he didn't say, would you, so-and-so, would you please grab me this document? He made it like an order. The guy brought it to him. For one, the guy never, this guy never said, please, can you get me this document? And he never said thank you when he brought it to him. I'm going to tell you this. This is the God's truth. I didn't do business with him. I went down the street and did business with one of his competitors. I'm not going to do business with people that aren't kind. You be that person. You be the the kind person. So I'm going to ask you, have you added these six items to your list? There's more. Keep thinking of other ways to be more respectful. This type of change ladies and gentlemen, will not happen overnight. So make a commitment to keep improving how you treat people. And actually, it can start with your spouse or your significant other. Practice being wonderful to them. Last but not least, respect yourself. So it's okay to put yourself first sometimes and treat yourself the way you would like to be treated. Your needs and wants are just as important as finding ways to help others fulfill theirs, once you truly respect yourself, it will be that much easier to show respect and to win them over. And I'm going to add one last thing to show the person you're doing business with that you respect them. One last thing. Leave your phone in the car. Leave your phone in the desk. Don't ever bring your phone into a meeting. It is not going to benefit you. There was a study done that even if you don't answer your phone, but you hear the vibration, it distracts you. It changes the way that you're going to do business. It takes you off your game. And I want to tell you something. When someone's trying to get my business and one They check their phone when they're talking to me to see who it was, or they answer it, or they're looking at a text. It really bothers me, because what they're saying to me is, is Van Deeb, your time isn't valuable. I hate that. So I had to throw that last tidbit in. Anyway, you get my drift on how important respect is in the business world. Respect others. Respect yourself. Find new ways. Watch what happens to your family unit. Watch what your kids are going to emulate the way you are because you're showing new ways to respect people. You're encouraging other people to be the person that you are. So like I say, ladies and gentlemen, if not now, then when? And if not you, then who? Show that respect. It'll benefit everybody you come in contact with. So remember, please... Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to my podcast. I'm grateful that you spent time with me today. Thank you. A Parkville Media Production.